guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Happy birthday to our Leo sons. So happy that this all falls right around Lion's Gate for you. The timing is beautiful. Welcome cross watchers for Leo. And if you're brand new to the channel, glad to have you. Pop in the comments, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. I will reply eventually sometime later today um and yeah this is a little little different of a reading for you leo uh it is time stamped so i'm going to start with this oracle from gateway of light activation right on the heels of the peak of lion's gate we're still in it um keeping with the light activation theme and then um the second portion will be a little a little um gift opportunity for you and then the tower reading so you can pop around as you see fit. Here we go, gateway of light activation for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What message is coming through for you today? Seraphim's gateway, voice activation, angelic attunement and divine support. I know it's so very bright, Seraphim's gateway. see that message it's alphabetical so I kind of have to your message I know it's almost blinding to look at you are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim know that these beings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice angelic support surrounds you at this time know that you are safe for you are being held by the presence of love the seraphim are witnessing the glory of your being and activating your angelic qualities you care deeply about the welfare of the planet and all her beings in fact, you are hoping to make a great difference in the world, and the reason for this is you are carrying angelic light. Let it shine on the world around you. Beautiful. Yes. Let it shine on the world around you. <clears throat> so, I um, stumbled upon this company, Otter Spirit, and I thought I'd share this with you since many of you come in the comments and mention my blouses, compliment my bracelets, my jewelry. Plus, it's your birthday for those of you Leo sons, and I thought, I, and I'm going to give you a gift code. Anyway, just look, I want to show you these gorgeous bracelets. And, um, oh my God, like so beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous bracelets. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. This is timestamp, so if you don't care, pass by. Um, more than 80% of their gemstones are uh, graded triple A superior, very high quality. And the packaging they come in, first of all, I love a magnetic clip. Um, but they come in these beautiful soft now I got three different boxes but this was this was ordered as a package set and they come in these beautiful little soft cloth bags and each bracelet came with um, a little card Let's see if you can see this with the stone and it tell it has like a sentence I am letting go of fear and embracing peace it tells you the intention, the zodiac signs, the chakras. It talks about um, uh, all, all kinds of information you can get right off the website too. But um, it's so thoughtful, so elegantly packaged and carefully wrapped when you receive them. I liked that they're a small family run company with a charitable nature focused mission. Um, they're based in Monterey Bay, California, home of the sea otters, which happen to be endangered. So $1 from each bracelet um, goes to protecting sea otters, hence otter spirit. They have these little pretty little 
um, silver tags on them with a little otter head. Uh, you won't be able to see them in this lighting, but it's so delicate and beautiful and feminine. I loved it. Um, and also, I love the intention behind that, and I'm such an intention person, and what really got my attention, <laughs> speaking of intention, was their website. It's really beautiful. I'm a Virgo, so you know I like organization. And it was so well organized. So you can order by like the month, like it's August. So they have a click on August. It'll show you all the stones for the month or by Zodiac or by gemstone or by intention. I went straight there and I scrolled through and this collection is the Divine Feminine Bracelet Pack. Amethyst Moonstone Labradorite. Um, and so I really loved that. Um, and you, yeah, your card will tell you more for what it's best used for, the elements, the chakras, the affirmations that go with it. You can order, like this is the regular stone size. You can order mini stones, small, medium, large. They have earrings, they have pendants, beautiful website and um, for your birthday, I thought maybe if I could work it out, 20% off. And it's like named after Awakened Priestess. So there is a code in the description box below, but you have to use my special link. So there's a link to the website. Um, I, in all full disclosure, I do get a little bit of a um, commission for that, but your discount is more than the commission. So. Please do enjoy. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> and find yourself something pretty, Leo. Come on. Indulge for yourself. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And so now back to the reading. There you go. The Lion's Gate reading I did yesterday was pretty powerful. So it's not obviously not too late to watch it. Um, similar themes coming through and um, yeah Poof. took me a long time to kind of settle my energy just to get to the reading and then during the reading all that energy kept coming back up um, it was interesting it, I'll just say that much here we go. So I'm doing a, a specific spread and then um, I'll walk you through it. This is my twin flame spread. So your shared energy with your person, Ace of Swords. There, This is about um, uh, like maybe a moment where something's coming to light for each of you. Uh, where are you right now in this connection? Something that you've planted some seeds. This was a big theme in the reading yesterday. It is a card of patience, yes, but it's also some intentions that have been set and planted firmly in the ground. And it's about the cultivation of that and, and what is unfolding more organically. And interestingly, your person is sort of in that same energy with that Knight of Pentacles is about beginning with the end in mind so that they're sort of setting the course. Um, this is not somebody who's in a rush. They, they want to be sure that, that they're being deliberate and intentional. Big word coming through here for you. Ah, your karmic challenge, the Four of Cups, disappointment, maybe a little disillusionment, a sense of an emotional disconnect or something that you feel um, might be passing you by. And your person's karmic challenge, the Ten of Wands, a heavy burden that maybe they just kind of need to offload. The Tens are about it, like something's done, but this person may be still holding on to some negative karma. The opportunity, hello, Leo. <laughs> the opportunity is the two of you helping each other to overcome obstacles, giving each other a leg up. And the divine guidance here is the two of wands. And that two of wands is, um, twos are always about decisions or choices, sometimes both. 
And the Two of Wands is saying in a world of possibilities with the whole horizon spread out before you, what do you want? And then you got to choose a path because there might be a couple of ways to get there. Which path do you believe might get you there faster? And what do you need to set in motion so that what it is that you want arrives? Because the next card would be the Three of Wands, which would be it arriving, the manifestation of what you have set in motion. So this is a very interesting message we have. Let's see what we get in the clarifiers. Ace of Swords. So far I see Virgo and Leo. We have the Lovers, the Three of Cups, and the Emperor. Whew. <clears throat> Perhaps um, something that you see clearly may bring you back together. It may be spearheaded. It may be the clarity coming in for a divine masculine here. I am feeling um, something that uh, was not seen before. You've been waiting for them to see it. And now they're plotting their course. It's been there all along because the aces are a gift from spirit but you have to take it, right? It's being handed from spirit. And spirit's the like the intermediary between the two of you, between the two of you. Like feel, feel that energy, right? And that three of cups feels joyful. So let's see you here with the seven of pentacles and it can come through reverse, that's fine. Hermit, a lot of Virgo here. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. On some level, maybe in your unconscious awareness, you, you might be a little confused as to why the things are taking so long. Why is this person off the grid? I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. I, I don't think it's you that's off the grid. I, it could be this person. Because I think this is you waiting, looking, waiting, like what is taking so very long? And it's not, it's not a TikTok waiting. It's like you're trying to assess what's really going on here. Um, maybe I've misread the situation. Maybe I didn't see things clearly. Maybe it was all a fantasy. Maybe it was just an illusion. So it's not your patience that has run out. It's like it's got you now. The time that has been unfolding has you questioning something here. Was it ever real? Your person with the Knight of Pentacles. Yep. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles. This is someone that knows they have to start from kind of like ground zero. They need a whole fresh start because uh, the burden that they're carrying seems to be coming from something that Something that they kind of, they created an, un, an, an unlevel playing field. And it seems like when they come in from being off the grid here, they have to be solid. There has to be something that shows worth and value that isn't sabotage that isn't a setup. The page of pentacles is always in a learning process. It's like the first step in a new direction. It's a fresh start kind of an energy. This person might feel they don't have enough, that they're not worthy of you. There might have been instability. They might have 
pulled the rug out, creating the instability. It's a general, so you got to take it as it speaks to you. Um, but it feels like there's something that it feels a little like self-sabotage first, but that it impacted the entire connection. So it's like they're going back to square one. And so they have to be very methodical and deliberate and intentional. And that takes time. So let's see your karmic challenge with the Four of Cups. on the four of cups with the star and uh, yeah like you're losing hope your karmic challenge is you know you're uh, so the seven of pentacles here with all this un other energy isn't that you're losing patience it's what i said it's like the sands running through the hourglass it's like you're running out of time you're losing hope you're that nine of wands underneath feels like you're exhausted like you're not sure how much it's like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz and that star landing on a double hit of the four of cups I don't know I, I feel like time is running out like I've missed my chance my opportunity here in this situation this person hasn't returned this person hasn't reached out I know I can feel it so let's I know it's like it's sitting right now like a knot in my stomach Leo oh my gosh ten of wands for their karmic challenge right that's what I'm saying. Some, there's something here. It was either their insecurity or their self-sabotage or they set you up and they created a sense of devaluation or they pulled the rug out from under you or whatever it is that happened. It could be different for every single one of you. It's like you got to go back to the kind of scene of the crime. That's their karmic challenge. They walked away it fell apart and it and yet they're not free of this it weighs on them every single day but look what's being handed to them remember I keep talking about the aces the aces are gifts from spirit and this is a gift of right a divine gift of inspired passion and it's right there, it's, it's within them, it, it's within this person. But they have to take it, they have to claim it. That's their challenge. Because once they, once they get off their own freaking back, <laughs> right? Once they realize that was then, this is now, the 10 of wands, once they throw that out, it resets to a one. You drop the zero off, you get the ace. And that's what I'm seeing with this ace of swords. It's like that eureka, that epiphany for this, this emperor. Then comes from the top of the deck and poof, takes off like, like a bolt of lightning. Maybe right in the nick of time, that last few sands in the hourglass for you. And the opportunity is you're bound for eternity. That's the symbol of Lion's Gate, right? That's the symbol, 8-8. Eight, eight. And this year it's 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight because of 2024 reduces to an 8. Amplified the power of that energy. And look what they're doing. They're helping each other. She's taming the lion. He protects her in return. Mm. 
right? Gathering up your strength, your courage, and your confidence to know you can overcome obstacles if you stick together, if you help each other. Oh, I forgot to do your little part for your gift, didn't I? I'll get to it. No worries. So yeah, there are worries. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll record it separately and I'll insert it. So if you see a little Dyson splice, that's what that's about. Okay. So nine of swords, two of swords. We're reaching a crossroads moment here. The opportunity is we're coming close here. We're going to have to take a risk, right? We're going to have to take a leap. You can't just keep running it on a loop in your mind. It can't just be something that lives there in the periphery. And you can't be just sort of like, I don't know, maybe I hallucinate. Like something's got to something's gotta happen. A path must be chosen because now this is where we're moving is to the divine guidance. Oh my goodness. Two of wands, yes. Wheel of fortune, yes. Hierophant, and yes, even the death card, three major arcana landing on this moment. This, op this opportunity is leading to a path for the future, for the destiny as it unfolds. What, what lies ahead is possibly something beautiful, uh, some lovely form of commitment of your souls. The lover's card, death, releasing what came before that didn't fit this connection, didn't belong to the connection, was in the way of the connection and ushers in a, a cycle of growth, change and transformation. That's the path. That is your fate, that is your destiny, that is your good karma, provided this person can release themselves from their own little purgatory here and grab this ace, and provided you don't lose hope in the meantime. Right? And provided that instead of being, you know, focused on worry, And, and there's a quote by Abraham Hicks that says uh, something to the effect of, I, I'm not going to, well, let me get it for you. The exact, the exact phrase. Here it is. Here it is. Let me give you the exact, the exact. Like since it's your birthday and all. Worrying is using your imagination to create something you don't want. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. So you're going to have to take a chance and a risk and help each other out. And maybe it starts energetically at 5D. Maybe it starts by taking a chance and reaching out. Maybe it starts by, you know, penning a letter or an email or a text or something. I don't know, but there's something shifting here. Okay. So, first things first, before I give you the astrology, I want you to know that I am going to go to the extended, and I do want to look at what's happening with this emperor, and what I'm going to be focused on is a little bit different than my normal. I want you to be able to see what does the high vibration look like with this person? How will you know they're operating from high vibration versus their lower vibration? What does that look like? That helps you know how to manage your response to them. What is in the hidden energies for this person that they don't want you to know about, but it could be very helpful. What is their message to you? What do they want you to know? What are their feelings at this time? What are their intentions? And we'll look at other energies as the clarifiers come through. So the links for that are in the description box below. Um, 
the reading has been helpful. If you've enjoyed it, if it's been clarifying, if it's been insightful and you haven't already, please subscribe below. That is my ask. The reason why I do it at the end and not in the beginning is because I want to earn it. I want to earn your trust. I want I want to earn your stamp of approval. And you know what your stamp of approval is? It's subscribing to my channel so that I can stay here on this platform and continue to support myself. This is my job. Okay? So thank you for that in advance. Also, um, hey, I know that I missed doing the little gifty part, but I have inserted it into the reading time stamped for you. So um, definitely go to that link, use your discount code. Happy, happy birthday for our, our Leos. And hey, if you're a cross watcher and you wanna take advantage of it, you can spoil yourself too. I love you, Leo, all my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You've been so gracious and generous to me throughout the years. And those who love the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I love you too. Anyway, let's do our astrology. Um, lovers is Gemini. We've got the Emperor, of course, is Aries. We got some Virgo in the, in the Hermit. Over here, guess what we have? We have more Virgo, but of course, in the Knight of Pentacles, we've got Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn in the Page of Pentacles. We have the star is um, Aquarius. Tower is uh, Mars, which rules Aries. Did I miss anything here? Nope. Strength card is Leo, but of course. The Fool is the planet Uranus. Expect the unexpected. Anything can happen and probably will. Rules Aquarius. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny and Fate Awaits. That rules that is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius, Hierophant is Taurus, and the death card is Scorpio. That's what I have for you, okay? So thanks for joining me, and um, I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second.